This is my first token project since I've found out about him. I guess you could categorize him first when he first started on as a YouTube rapper, but now I don't think he is. And from what I from what I know about his philosophy on this album and the music that he's putting out is that he no longer wants to put out hype music. He's never actually really been a fan of making viral songs in the sense like he had like the high Billy and the high J Coles and he had like, you know, they're going to get millions of views because he's talented and people want to see that for some reason, for some reason, people want to see white rappers rap fast. Why is that? Um, not that not that a skin color makes a difference, but this is rap. So it kind of does make a difference in terms of the per the perception of who he is as a rapper in the hip hop world. Also, he kind of like blew up on YouTube, which is a whole different perception um, on the hip hop world. A lot of people are not going to take YouTube rappers, quote unquote, seriously. Fucking don't know who has that mentality. Um, but Token is most definitely one of the rappers that does not need YouTube to succeed. At least I don't feel like maybe he did at the beginning, um, but he does no he no longer needs YouTube in order to be a successful artist. He's definitely making a name for himself. The, tr the album here has a track with Jid, who is by far one of the best lyricists in the game right now. Also, potentially of all time when it's all said and done. We got 18 tracks, though, by the way, guys, 53 minutes. So it's not crazy long tracks, but from what I'm expecting from this album, he's tired of like all of the hype shit that he's doing and he wants to actually make real music. People are going to say that, oh, the hype shit is real, is new, real music, but it's not. It's not because that's not there's no like passion. There's no substance. There's no it's just like, OK, you can spit. The reason I don't like hype shit is because I'm like, you should be able to spit. You should be able to rap like that because you're a rapper. It's like if this is this is what my dad always told me whenever I came home from school with a good grade. My mom, too, actually, like if I came home with a report card that had an A, I was not getting any award. I wasn't getting any cash. I wasn't getting there was no incentive at home for me to get A's because it should be fucking expected. Like, oh, congratulations for doing your job. Nah, that's not how it flies in this household. That's the same way that I feel about rap. Like, OK, you could put bars together. You should be able to put bars together. You you let you are a self-proclaimed rapper. It should be the very bottom level to be able to put similes and metaphors together in today's day and age of rap. So I think that token, obviously he can do that. But I also think that he wants to move away from that and make like real, real music. You know, like like music that he has feels and has emotion behind. All right. Uh, let me put the song names. Pink is better. Track number one. It's his third. OK, it's my it's my debut album. It's token. And from what it sounds like, a lot of debut albums for y'all guys. So here we go. A little different. Seeing a good turn bad make you think a little different. Seeing your fam in rehab make you drink a little different. Ooh. Yeah, it's jealousy. Trust issues make you treat a good girl a little different. Bad breakups make... Oh, shit. This is rap rap right here for me. This is the shit that I like. Okay, this is what I wanted. This is what I was hoping for. I fuck with the high J. Cole, the high Billy. Yeah, as like fucking as getting your name out there. But I don't want that shit to be what I hear on the album. This is the shit I want. I want vulnerability. I want I want people who seem like they are bigger than life because their talent. I want them brought down to earth and not brought down to earth like we're trying to cancel them and bring them back down. I want them to, to be like, yo, I know that I'm talented. I know that I got, you know, I'm a good rapper, but I'm still I am still human makes me feel more connected to the artist. Fucking out of spite, make the sex a little different. Ooh. People relying on you, make you chill a little different. Just wonder when they hear what I say. Can they tell I never got women without fame? Can they tell that I never got women without fame? These bitches out here, bro. Crazy how money makes you attractive, huh? You want with me shooting in the gym, bitch? They wonder how I'm not nervous when on stage. Cause that's the only time that I can truly run away. I Mama saw me stumbling, it's time a little different. Told her I won't cross the line, but I line a little different. All right, remember, this is the opening track to the album. So this is like really emotional for an opening track. Someone said that they didn't like the repetitiveness. The repetitiveness is the point to say that like he, his life is a little different since he real, since he blown up. Like everything is just slightly different. It's not completely different. It's just different enough to where it feels a little weird. My love a little different. I trust a little different. Kind of flush a little different. Can't put that in the trash. Women act a little different. Oh, 
Oh, this, I, I wasn't going to pause it, but I had to pause it right there. Also, Estrada V, what I stopped it for, though, because he said, got to flush the condom a little different because girls out here is weird. Or you could just go the Drake route and make sure you always keep that motherfucking thing on you of Tabasco sauce. Throw that bitch in the condom and then boom. All right. Is that a W or is that an L? What's the deal as an opening track? For me, as an opening track into like another level of his career where he's trying to take it to and be a little more substantial. That's a fat ass dub for me. We got W's all in chat. One to 10 rating. How y'all feeling about that as an opening track? I don't expect that track to be the best track on the album. Already the song Sip, I like more than that track because I've heard both of them, I know. But that track is an emotional level, is an emotional opening. That's like a seven and a half, eight for me. Uh, I was I was gonna say I was expecting a beat drop and I think that would have set it off to the next level, but actually it's better without it now that I think about it. And I don't mean to compare him to another white rapper, but it's kind of like, it's like the self-awareness of the way I am, like him trying to bring himself down to more like reality, like he's no different than us in the same way that the way I am did it. But like I said, without the anger and hostility toward his situation. Uzi would have been a 10 opening track part. Shut your ass. Uh, We're going on to Caught on Camera. It already sounds like eerie. Eight away was fucking wild right there. Holy shit, that was disgusting. Popping the shit, tonic a gym with a line, please. Two in the front, three in the back. I'll be five deep. If I get caught being too quiet, my god, D check if I'm good. Yeah, bro, I'm good. Yeah, I T. I might just take pick with any light skin bitch. I'm with same shit. That been a slight risk. New friends, new regrets. The single life shit. I don't like being tied oh, down too much to get it. I'm the biggest. This track right after that first one. Oh man, I'm glad we didn't get a beat drop on the first one because that makes this one even harder. It used to be the type guy shy. I didn't get it. Didn't get the women I like now. Dominican. The women demanding your eyesight. Wow, I wanna hit it. When I hit it, I just do it for 13 year old token. Leave the door open. Couple on the way off. My shit was caught on camera. Caught on she camera. pride herself on love. She loved me more than world break up. You ask that girl what evil look like. Same pick fans will hang up. Now talk a different dude. So got different rules. Hey, I found a letter from her. She signed it with two hearts. Them hearts were pink, I think. New bitch, she spread them legs apart. Temptation red, I bleed. That white flag is hard to find. Let's find the in between. Pink. Holy shit, that one hit me like a train. That instrumental is crazy on that track, bro. What just happened? We had like what five, four or five switch ups in this in the sound. I could see some people like not liking that one. There's no there's not really a hook. J I mean, just because it's not your traditional straightforward like song structure. That one's obviously a little more braggadocious. So it's crazy coming off of a little different, like a little different to that right there is literally a 180. It's literally a 180 from one to the next. Ugh, that beat was crazy. Hold on. We're going to listen to it one more time. Not the whole song, just the beat drop. Bro, that's dirty. That's a nasty beat. But yeah, after a little different, it's almost like his swagger or like his chip on his shoulder is a little different. You know, it sounded like that song right there. Like like he like he knows that what he did is incorrect, but he's not he's not mad about it or he's not like upset. He's not anything about it. He's he's token and he's going to do what the fuck he wants. That's the vibe that I got from that track right there. Uh, but next up, we got hot. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, these these beat selections, bro. <sighs> these beats are crazy. Knock, 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 who it is, it's T. When I hit that scene, when I hit that scene. <laughs> this is his version of coming in hot, Andy Mignon and Lecrae. Two bitches I got a breast to breast. Two wishing I paid her next semester. Two different I shouldn't press the press. Two fitted with an extra press. Louis hey. Vuitton is the dress to dress. Boy, I didn't have shit. Now I got double click like PC pad bitch. Man, can't get a payday, my brother. Hey, <laughs> bass, but I maintain my lover. Drink, drink, and a drink. Shot, the shot, cadence shot, the is crazy, is bro. When I hit that scene. When I hit that scene. When I hit that scene. The cadence is crazy, bro. This is one of those beats where you don't need like a hook. 
you just need like one word said and then you let the beat ride for four bars and then you say one more word and let the beat ride that's how hard the beat is you don't even need a fucking hook the hook is him just saying i'm profitable i got a bro who was banging and throwing them signs in front of your crib just like it's a property so she oh. called me honey benny she my mata i got a friend who was banging bro like gang banging throwing up signs like gang signs in front of your crib like it was property for sale that's hard be asking want to split the bill because they turn her on when i say hi no hi no Ha 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 no Tone different, I'm a whole different man Two cups and I move slow like God a hand 20s and a whole green by kilogram Blue hunt, not, not, not cool, it is, it's tea Chop, 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 hit it quick, then leave Pop, 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 in the champagne bleach W's or L's? Is this a W? Mmm Jesus, bro, that beat was relentless. All these beats outside, outside of a little different, we had boom, 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 three crazy beats back to back. Hot, hot might be one of the best tracks on the album for me. Someone said that I like, I like the beat selection, but don't like his voice. I mean, that's true for any rapper, really. I mean, people don't like Jid's voice. People don't like Eminem's voice. People don't like, you know, it's like when it comes to somebody's vocals, it's all personal preference at that point. I think that his voice is like really nice. He enunciates very well um, for the style of rap that he does. That's just me. Um, we got a poll going. Um, we got 19 W's and five and one mid Noels. That's not bad though. All right. I feel like we're getting a turn of emotions. Why you gotta hurt me? Why you gotta play with me? I never thought that I would feel regret more than you did. Guess I know what I got the second I lose it. I was never seen another like me. Never seen a title, spiteful, friend and a rival, wrapped up in one like me. Bro, you'll never find another one like me, which is probably a good thing. That's what the song sounds like. That's what the lyrics sound like. Like when somebody normally says you'll never find another like me, good luck. It's like a like, oh, I'm one of a kind. Like you're never you're everybody's gonna be a downgrade. This one sounds like he's saying you'll never find another like me. That means you're going to upgrade because I'm at the very bottom. You know what I'm saying? Wit Laurie vibes. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but it's a uh, wit delivery is always more anger based and sad. Um, this just sounds like it's acceptance, acceptance of who he is and the mistakes that he's made. Game I try to play. I open a door for you and tell you you better stay. I let you be all alone till I feel I made a mistake. Why you gotta go so far? I just don't want to be close. Am I now the person that's way too hard to impress, baby? Last thing I wanted to do is make you feel you ain't enough. Too far from the truth. Mm. I used to tell you, you seem regretful, stressful, failure, successful, wrapped up in one like me. And I know oh. you need to get your space, get your reach. This is what I like right here, bro. And I was I was hoping that we got a change of pace because it started out with like a really emotional track and then boom, 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 three hype tracks. And I'm like, damn, I don't want him to fall into like that hype track only type vibe. And then now I got this track, which is like someone said with Laurie. I haven't looked at the I haven't looked at the chat. So people might say NF. Who knows? Always comparing white rappers to white rappers, bro. It's just it's it's just an emotional track. It's an emotional track for a dude whose life has changed over the last like three years. Like, yeah, he was cool on YouTube. You know, maybe, maybe he's got some past albums, you know, that are hyped up. His core fans like it. But this is his first album that's like going to garner him actual national attention outside of like YouTube rap fans, you know? He gets you independent on and on a civil peace and even though it's harder than ever for me to let you leave, think it's been enough times that you had to say to me. I like this. This, this might be one of my favorites on the album right here. I like the name of the song that's not love. Like, why are you putting me through all of this shit? That's not what that's not really what love is. I say that I love you and then I and then we go through all of this shit because of me. So is it really love? Is that that's not love, but it's not love. And your suit is ox blood and the girl that you fucking hate and her friends faded on shots of what you ordered to forget about the game that you on top of. Your famous girlfriend ads keep getting thicker than the plot does. And when you forget it, that's when she pop up and you got to drop. But you ride around with the top up and get three SUVs for people dressed like refugees and deal with the questions about all your excessive needs and you do dinners at French Laundry in Napa Valley glasses of Dolce and scallops that shit right up your alley you see a girl and you ask about her bitches smiling at you it must be happy hour they put the cloth across your lap soon as you sat down it's feeling like you own every place you choose to be at all right so how do we feel about that track no L's a couple people saying mid a lot of people saying fire 
So really, we have 24 fires and W's and three mids. Who said this was mid? And one out of 10, this is probably like another seven and a half for me. It's not going to be eight material. Uh, hot for me would be like an eight and a half. So this got this can't be higher than hot because I don't like not love as much as hot. Um, and between this song that we just heard and the next song, which is sip, I know for a fact that I like sip more than not love. Um, and, and I would put not love at like an eight. So just just based off of numbers, I would have to put that lower than that song, which is what we're gonna get into right now. Sip. Aaron gotta ban you now. What did I say? I started liking token for his speed rap, so it's just an adjustment to listen to his new style. You gotta understand also that artists grow, you know. He's not going to I think I was I hopped on his live like right before he had before I hopped on this live. I was on his Instagram live and he was saying that he's like it's a struggle, you know, for him because people know him for his speed rap and his hard lyrics and his like, you know, he's just saying the hardest, like most aggressive shit. But that's not the artist that he wants to be anymore. Now and now he's got to now he's got to break out of the box that he built himself. You know, it's the same. It's the same thing for like Christian artists like Andy Minio. Like if Andy Minio wants to progress as an artist and get more mainstream, he's got to block. He's got to break out of the Christian hip hop box that he put himself in. For any artist that's trying to art like creatively go in a different direction, they got to be able. They got to be willing to like go in that direction first off, knowing that there's a chance that they're gonna lose fans because fans are going to say, oh, this is different than Token. He sold out or, you know, whatever the hell they're going to say when really people just grow, yo. Anyway, next up, be happy. Nothing is enough for me to pride and love and company. I stack my stacks a hundred feet. If I was missing underneath, I treat oh them all like Oh my God, oh my God, oh my. I, didn't, I wasn't expecting no fast paced rhythm like this. I do like the fact that his voice came in before the beat right there, though. Left alone, I'm a whole different type of person. People use me, but I use people way worse. Shit. Mm. I've been self shit, I do I right. hung over hoping there's a kind of rapper in sight. Be happy, it's over. Bro, just the self-destructive nature about what he's talking about. Like he is literally imploding the world around him. Like whatever he's doing to cope with the fact that he has to grow as an artist, to cope with the pressure cope with the fact that he's not where he wants to be and that's fucking up his whole world be happy i'm hidden and be happy i'm jaded and stop painting a picture of true love because i'm saying if you were to see me now you probably reconsider everything see what i'm saying if you be happy on one side that it's over be happy that it that it's not you know be happy you made it be happy you're not there yet we're at the tip of the top and we're not even halfway up i like this track bro i like the I like the entire premise of the album. You know, we're, we're, we're realizing that we have a lot of flaws as a person and we're finally putting those flaws on the track. Like he's letting us into the turmoil that sits within him. I like that. If you were to see me now, you'd probably reconsider everything. That's hard, bro. I like this hook. All right, lately, I remember thinking getting fucked up was a crime, baby. Now I only show her love if it's a rock around her. I found me something to be sorry about. Big ass crib, I let the homie. Nothing else get through to me. I'm different now. I changed. Even homies can't reach me, and they with me every day. So mm. be happy. You would see me now. You'd probably reconsider everything. Bro, this song is. This song is hard. If you would see me now. You'd probably, probably reconsider everything. That's probably the biggest dub of the day right there. Uh, that might be my favorite song on the album. That one and Hot are probably my favorites on the album so far. I like Caught on Camera, but I think I might like it as much as I do because it comes right after the opening track, which is a little different, which was like a somber song and then going right into hype. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that Be Happy track, that's another eight for me right there. It's another eight for me. What are y'all feeling? W's, L's? For some reason, I've been a fan of the re of the repeating hooks on the album right here. I think the beat selection is helping the fact that I don't know if I necessarily want a hook on these beats so much. If you could see me right now, you probably would consider everything like that. And then letting the beat right out for a second. And then again, every like bar or two bars. It's nice, bro. This is exactly what I was hoping for from Toke, from our boy. All right, let's see here. Where am I at? White turns red. Let's get it. Are we feeling like the album is a W? I feel like someone like me who never knew Token for his like prior music. This is my first album from him. It's almost like a perfect blend of what people liked about him originally with like the very crazy instrumentals and the crazy flow and the crazy confidence, but also the shit that I like 
which is gonna be i like that shit, but the emotional side you know tying the whole Give album me together to relax babe my thrill gone my girl gone token ain't fit just the bent bridge that i built this world on seven to re i fucked that whole shit up it's done that stuff woke up the bitch of me fucked Ooh. around and signed this deal the same time my ambition leave the scene boom chit chat is getting real i'm starting to think they only believe in me when i believe in me but what will my referrals gone oh my god this flow is relentless bro this flow is crazy right here and the fact that we still don't have a beat drop it's just like a am i watching a suspenseful movie that's what it feels like i feel like oh the beat oh it didn't drop okay okay here we go here we go okay beat drop oh still no beat drop what the fuck? i get lost inside the red just to show myself a boss scrap that album another time another time another time and time passed label spent a couple million on a fucking white flag okay a little hi-hat pattern Hey. It ain't believe me if the shots just made the choices instead hey. My bitch the same but she low worse She wants to see bones through her flesh Baby my sister hallucinating Gotta make sure the girl sleep Lot of new homies but they'll die for me Before my old ones They cracking jokes my drunk ass burnt himself Last time we rolled up Oh my god bro this beat is aggressive as fuck The beat is so unorthodox It's so avant-garde I used to feel some level of pride by knocking a high Then I say you know I feel more pride in highs when I realize my lows are too low She don't want to bring them in so I don't bring it up hey. I might tell a lie but I don't cheat you know I was out in LA baby called the dude a friend Found out she fucked him when I'm high I forget it You know what this sounds like? Yeah 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 so that track not everybody's gonna fuck with for sure It's ambitious in terms of like the experimentation side of it it's a very experimental beat uh, the beat switch up is most definitely not what you're expecting when the beat comes in when the bass drops it's not what you're expecting if you're expecting a traditional beat drop right there then yeah you're not gonna fuck with this song this is something that you could see like clipping making a track on who's david Diggs, by the way he's the main rapper in clipping you have to like that style of rap this ain't yonkers but it's getting there even Yonkers isn't that experimental. The reason why Yonkers popped off the way that it did was because he was just saying the most outlandish shit. It was horrorcore. It was horror rap, like literally like scary rap. It's supposed to give you that feeling of unease um, where this right here it doesn't even sound like it has a rhythm to it. It does, but like you can it's like it's very, it's very abstract. It's not going to be it's not going to be everybody's favorite track. This would be one that people are going to say that they're going to cut to make the album shorter. I fucked with it. That's just me though. One to 10, how are we feeling about that track? Uh, eight, six, seven, four. I'm thinking the same. I'm no, I'm thinking like seven. I'm thinking seven. I could see people going as low as five. Um, five is respectable, especially if you aren't. You have to be a fan of this style of rap. Anybody heard of the artist St. Vincent? Um, she makes very avant-garde. I don't even know what the fuck you would call her style. Her style and her genre is what this song sounds like. So if you like that style of avant-garde, experimental, not your run-of-the-mill style, then this is something you would probably vibe with. If you're not vibing with that, then you wouldn't, then you wouldn't vibe with this. All right, next up, track number nine, Struck Gold. Wake up in the morning, I'm still in the studio. Yeah. I don't leave until my day one say that shit is cold. Right. Mm. Told, told my girl I love her, she's so smart, she know I don't. Yeah. Wake up in the <laughs> 21 girl, I'm Blackjack. Blackjack. I can hey. show you where the bag at. Bag at. iPhone where I write raps at. Raps at. Hey. But I only open up cash at. Cash at. Kill a pussy, put it in a catnap. Gotta get a bag to my dad, that's Baghdad. Look at all the ring, I fear it's losing my spot. Plus daddy going under for another blood clot. While I be on tour, right back at Icebox. Looking at a Rolex, him dying on my watch. Death is the one thing I fear at night. But I got family who only fear life. Bad vibes, gotta shake it off with a bad little girl like the only thing I fear is death at night, but I have family that fear life. Tell my love you when I'm taking off. Ooh, and if ooh, this ooh. plane crash, I'm platinum dog. Big girls at the studio going off. My girl say it's a sin if I hit them. Confess if I commit them. I don't think she my bitch, she my bitch. Wake up in the morning, I'm still in it. Confess she ain't my bitch, she my bishop. It's a sin if I hit them. Uh, Wake up in the morning. It's the I'm level of swagger on this track, bro. Told my girl I love her. Smart, she know I. <laughs> I just remember waking up oh, on the and just knowing that I wasn't the only one. Up in a club with a new bitch on my lap that I wasn't supposed to fuck. Shit, I used to blame the fame. <laughs> Oh man, that distorted 808 is nasty. 
the production choices here are fire bro when to drop out the production when to bring it back in shit i used to blame the fame for confusion and the pain high enough for both of us so when i caught her in a lie i lit that whole shit up on my way to you on a hollow tank of fuel now you fuck around on me you got me all the way confused i got the bottle service move as smooth as hockey players do i pop temptation right i bleed that white flag is hard to find let's find it in between pick God, bro. White turns to red. I found the in-between paint. I get it now. How are we feeling about that track, ladies and gentlemen? Because that is wild. That's, that's, I don't even know. That one got me stuck. That one got me stuck. That shit was hard. That's at least an eight, maybe a nine. I feel like he's just, I feel like he's just riding these instrumentals, you know? I'm excited for this one right here. This is the one that I've been, like, I know Jid. I, I think that Jid and, uh, and Token, just the way their voices sound and the way they rap, I think that they would go good together. But Benny the Butcher. All right, next up, Amsterdam featuring Benny the Butcher. Seven deep in Amsterdam. I gave that girl ego without her asking for it. Brand that bitch with two Italian logos. Now she fashion forward. She says she. Oh, man. I brand that bitch with two Italian logos. Now she fashion forward. Portion. This is why my past is pouring. I know how to get that gas supported. My room ain't ready, oh so I'm back God. in Florida, peeked under the stars, but I've been operating there since all them bottles made it scare. So the water chase it down till all them rounds taste like air. You stack the glass. Benny about to fucking slap on this beat, bro. Benny the Butcher is so grimy. She not Islam, no Satan prayers, but it's always like it's Ramadan the way she cares to fast to keep her body smiling, weight prepared. <laughs> Sweat swinging. Oh man, the Ramadan, she ain't fun. Oh shit. Fast to keep her body smiling, weight prepared. Sweat <laughs> swinging off them big pop, 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 pop. I don't pop, invite pop. my OG to the parties. I twist mm. a narrative from a kid trying to get famous to a kid high with temptation with a disguise on his anguish. Oh White my skin turn red inside. A kid who wanted to be famous to a kid who's giving in to temptation with a disguise for his anguish? Bro. You work the Jews, your family hand you. My sanity handled it all. I gambled and lost. Life's a bitch, and through these glasses, I see a scandalous hole. I got Tony Montana's force. That's on Tony Soprano's corpse. Ooh. Don't trust chicks, stay heartless. Judge told him he don't deserve to be free. If he not already a killer, then he gon' certainly be. Mm. Up the road, not off for of parole. And bitches out the drop top. Slur swinging out the homies. Out oh, man. Benny, don't fucking play, bro. That was a crazy nice feature for that instrumental to get Benny on that. People don't know about Benny the Butcher like that. It's unfortunate. I don't know if it's unfortunate. He has a very has a very niche style of rap. You have to like that gritty ass New York fucking grimy hood rap. You have to like Dave East. You have to like Griselda aggressive as fuck. But that that feature matches the, the beat. He could have kept Benny the whole song and I would have been like, oh, bet a whole song feature of Benny on, on Token's album. That was hard, bro. It had to be a nine, right? It had to be a nine because their vocal tonality difference. Benny's not like as lazy with the with the drawn out delivery as as Token is right there. Token's delivery kind of sounded like not lazy in the sense like he's actually lazy, but like he's 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 drawing out the words as he's rapping. That's a minimum nine. That's probably the best on the album. And that's the best song on the album for me. But we also got Boom featuring Jid up next. All right, Chit Chat we've heard before. I know it's fire. We're not going to talk about it too much. That's the type of track where I'm saying, like, if he did that the entire album, I'd be like, oh, you know what I mean? This is too much. I can't deal with it. Like, I get it. I get it. You can rap. Give me something different. Give me something I haven't heard before. But yeah, Chit Chat's fire as a single. It's actually really fire. But coming off of Amsterdam with Benny the Butcher, it's a tough follow up. This is the one song where I, that I had been seriously waiting for. She wanna jump in the back, feel like a poncho. Leave with Bro, the 808 is so crazy. The, the, the whole time, the 808 is crazy. On the entire album. Keys, I don't know what they are. I just click shit. People wanna put me in charge. I do big shit. Weed in a couple of jars. That's for the homie, though. Least five bitches look at me like I'm the Romeo. Knee hey. high boots. I think she been taking two trains to the city. Two trains to the titty. Wu tank to the cream. Luke Kang, cause she flew two legs for the kid. Feel me? Roll through the city with the vroom vroom. My brother finna get it in bloody, you gotta pay for it. Finna hit the bank in a minute to get a bank roll. Jitty, you idiot, just a nigga like the Django. I got the do 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 do. Some dude, I paste the wrong time in the right state of mind. Trying to multitask the page to a dollar sign before they told my tag. She the just hard what's cracking, what's popping, what's craving. If you cross my dog, nigga been barking all day. And Jid don't play, bro. The heart, the, the, the amount of internal rhyme scheme 
and it doesn't even sound like he's trying to rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Every single track that he's ever recorded sounds like that. He is probably one of the best writers in rap, like today, if not ever. It's not even like his craziest, like the one he did with Denzel Curry, the remix that he had recently, that one was insane. This is nice. No, I'm not saying it's not, but this is like nothing. This is nothing that's like, oh, this is crazy, crazy. It's not, it's crazy for another rapper who is not Jid. Jid as a rapper, this is just what he does. Drop top in the mind right next to Hublot. Cop cop in the dime, so bad she evo. Slide end up with a stitch without the Lilo on my baby like Tito, but she horny off the Henny. If I sold a couple hoodies, could afford new belly. Empty hit him like bubble bum, bubble bum. Hope it's hey. better, but I get run, get Bro, low. the beat selection is. Zoom, zoom. I got foes in the semis in the deuce, deuce. Like, boom. How we feel? W or L for that track? Jid just don't miss, bro. I don't want to say Jid carried because Token is obviously a force in his own right. Jid's one of those features when you see him on the track list, you're like, okay, I'm listening to this track 100% for Jid. Like, I know that Token's going to do his thing, but it's like seeing a Drake feature, you know? Like, you're like, oh, what is Drake going to do on this beat? What is Tyler, the creator, going to do on this beat? What's Lil Wayne about to pop off with? What's Jid about to do? That's like a seven and a half, eight for me. Uh, Amsterdam was a nine. It's going to be hard to beat that track as a whole in general. And I just think as a track, I like Amsterdam more than Boom. Boom is fire, but Amsterdam, for me at least, is the best song on the album. For me, production has been carrying a majority of the songs. You think so, Kyler? I don't think so. I mean, the production carries, I mean, the production carries because production's fire. Um, but I don't think he's, I don't think like Token's drowning in the production. It's not like the production is overpowering him as the artist. The production is overpowering because it's supposed to be like in your face. But I think that he's sliding on pretty much most of these beats. If there's going to be a miss on the album, it's going to be that one that was like very uh, avant-garde. Which one was it? Was it Struck Gold or White Turns Red? One of those tracks was where I was going to say like where I said it doesn't matter what people think about it. Like like most people are going to be like, that's the one that I don't like. The production is what's blowing my mind the most. I knew what to expect or I, I had an expectation for the album and Token is meeting it. But I didn't know what Token's production sounded like as in terms of like, what beats does he select as an artist? What beats does he make if he's if he's making these instrumentals? I didn't know what to expect there, so that's obviously blowing my mind out of the water. I didn't realize he picked such aggressive instrumentals for his style. So Token is meeting what I had expected from him, but because I didn't have any expectation for the instrumentals, it's over exceeding because I didn't know what to expect at all. All right, let's keep going. We got round of applause next. After I just say that the beat that the beats are fucking aggressive. About peak of the scenery. If I didn't know better, I'd have thought my God starting to speak to me. Bro, comp and I brought deal with me. Bro, shots. I will say that his flow it's really creative at times. Like right now, this is not really on beat. It's on beat, but it's not where you would expect the instrument, like where you would expect the end of the bar to be. You hear how like off beat the end of flow is? It almost sounds like he's drunk. Does that make sense? Like it's like very slurred. It doesn't end where you would expect it to end got the great for big shit it would be whiplash if the homie decide to play with sticks with sticks it would be tic tac if she told you what offered you popped me inside Fresh. remind me of six seraphim made to be so round of applause for the bro t stay bringing heat so round of applause for the bro bro beat drop oh this switch up Open the whip door, my best dress cotton it. The homie was pissed poor till she brought commas. And I drove in a big boy. Get a new home, your bread on itty bitty mini crouton. My bread, Italy City, get new Rome. Big head, I'm Jimmy the Jimmy the Neutron. Keep it empty, cause I promise my bros. My hey. bros look out for me, plus put on for me too. Good talk in my long living room. Finney said it's a left. Ooh, man, the whole fucking album, bro. I like the second half of that song more than I like the first half. I'm not really a fan of uh, sexual rap. Um, and I say it about female rappers, but I also say that I don't like it for dude rappers. I can't really like, you know, like this song. If there was a skip, this would be on it just because I'm not I'm not partial to that kind of music. All right, cool. You fuck bitches. That's just me. I'd much rather take a boom or an Amsterdam over round of applause. So if there's any if there's any track that's going to be mid for me, it's going to be this one. Everything but the subject matter of this song is nice. It's just the subject matter of the song that I don't fuck with. And that's just like a pre that's a predetermined mentality that I have. It's not anything against token or anything against people that rap like that. It's just I don't like that kind of rap. For me, it's a cop out. For me, it's a cop out. It's an easy 
subject matter to write about and what could, what could really be said about the subject matter that hasn't been said before. Everything that Token said in this song, I've heard from another rapper before. This is going to be my first thing under a seven, and this is probably going to be like a, a five because of the second half of the instrumental. But overall, it probably would be like a four. I kind of want to get back to the emotional shit, though. Not saying in my feels, but shit that I could relate to. I can't relate to fucking on five bitches, you know? 18 tracks is just not the way to go, I feel. 18 tracks in today's day and age of music, in today's day and age of consumer, is a fucking lot. 18 track album? I, I don't even think I can tell you an 18 track album. I think the last 18 track album that sticks in my mind, the only one where I can think of that where I'm like, okay, I don't think there's a miss here, is Marshall Mathers LP, the first one. But then again, that album came out in 2000 when people had attention spans for an 18 track album when there was no streaming, when you had to buy the full album and because you paid $15 for it, you're going to listen to every track on the album. Uh, but most artists cannot pull off that length of a track. Uh, all right. Best highs. Best highs never last long enough. Used to want a dad in my life. Now he wants a son. Used to want a dad in my life. Damn. I've never heard a rapper say that. I always felt like that. Like if I was in a position like my dad wants to come back into my life now that I'm famous, he didn't want shit to do with me until I blew up. Would I be able to be the bigger man and let somebody back into my life? I'm going to go with no. If somebody told me that, if somebody walked out and then I blew up and then they walked back in, you wasn't fucking with me shooting in the gym. Girl, liquor make it hurt less when I'm starving myself, girl. I don't want my mom's son, just my mom's son. She might want payback, cheating, that's a whirlwind. Mm. Every time I torn, hit the world, the whirlwind. I had, I worked so fucking hard, a hundred songs, I scrap them all, shit, I've been off. I got my fans wondering, like, is he in the studio? The real him, but they don't know a thing about him. Highs never last long enough. Dad in my life, now he wants a son. Used to want a dad in my life, now he... Yeah, definitely, definitely in his Drake vibe right there. Definitely in that one track. Um, I forgot the name of it on Drake's first album. You promised me you would never change up. But that's what it reminds me of, like that introspective thinking. That was nice. I needed to switch up because we had we had had after Be Happy, White Turns Red, Struck Gold, Amsterdam, Chit Chat, Boom, Round of Applause. We had th those many hype tracks in a row. So I'm glad that we finally got like a break in that sound. That's that's another one where you might not listen to a whole lot, but you understand that it's one of the better songs on the album. Like it's one of the better songs on the album. It's above a seven, but you might not come back to it a lot because you have that's one of those tracks where you have to be in the mood for it. You know, I appreciate that one way more than round of applause. It's like night and day between round of applause and the subject matter and that to best highs. Best Eyes is just so much better of a track, at least for me, than Round of Applause. That one's a W. I agree. Um, I can see how people would might say L or mid just because it's going to be a slower song. There's no beat. There's no there's nothing to break up like the thought, the thought train that he's going on other than like the hook, quote unquote hook. It's not an actual hook. I thought it was decent. That's, that's going to be better than decent. Like I said, it's better than a seven. We're on track number 15 of 18. We're getting to the end, guys. I can't help but talk about myself just to feel less discouraged. Can't help but picture my ex when I sleep with my current. Can't help but know what happens when you don't leave me alone Can't help but need space Can't help but feel frustrated when I look in the mirror and see parts of my dad inside mm. Gotta remember I'm, I can't help but smile when I cover the homies it bills Can't like help but smile beat. more when I know that he no longer need my help It's songs like this that make you realize like the songs where he's bragging in the album They sound like really dis like like they, they are the disguise And songs like this, it took me 15 songs to realize why the album is titled Pink is Better Because... Like we said, we're not we're not giving up, but we're not also like hungry for blood. So we're right in the middle. White and red is pink, but the album is pink. We're getting we're getting songs that are fucking hyped and like crazy, nasty instrumentals. And then we're getting songs like this one and a little different where it's like we're introspective and we kind of feel bad about the person that we are. We don't we don't know who we are. Times can't help but believe in God. Especially when I'm in the zone, especially when I see my home, especially when I know I've grown. And instead of going to pills, I'm going to walk my young, depressed ass back to the studio. Ooh. I can't help but sing along. I wasn't, I honestly wasn't expecting a beat drop in this song. I can't help but sing along. I can't help but write my wrongs. Can't help but look at my little bro and know he going to be out the streets. Can't hey. help but give my fans the music that they need. Can't help but to feel like I'm self-absorbed. Can't help but to feel like I want more. The game is a checkerboard. Like, who you checking for? Can't help that I feel like the real record. Can't help that board? I separate. Can't help it, but I got to fill in the void. Can't help it, but I still feel like Tina's boy. Can't help it, but I feel like Mr. Lior. 
I might only like that song in the sense that like it's exactly the same type of track as a little different at the beginning. A little different is more like I need it, like I'm wary and I'm aware of the things that have changed in my life. And this one over here is like, I can't help the way that I feel, but it's the same, it's the same, it's the same concept of song where it's, it's, I forget what it's called. It's, it's literally a poetic, it's literally some form of, of poetry. Whenever you repeat the same thing multiple times over to, drive the impact of that repeating phrase um so like i can't help and then makes me feel a little different feel a little different kendrick lamar did it on damn on a uh, what song was it i forget which one but he says i'll probably die anonymous i'll probably die with promises i'll probably die walking back from the candy house i'll probably die because these colors are standing out it helps it helps give you like the visualization that this shit is real Anaphora. There you go. That's what it is. The term anaphora reflect refers to a poetic technique in which successive phrases or lines begin with the same words, often resembling a litany. I can see why some people said mid, if I'm not mistaken, like that was the that was the consensus of that song. Would you feel like that if we weren't if this song wasn't way deep in an 18 track album, if this track was higher up and like you're not used to the album sound already, would it be different? Like, would you rate it differently if it were higher and it's brand new to us and, you know, we're hyped about the album? Out of this one and a little different, I do like a little different better than I Can't Help in the same style. Like they're, they're the same style of track. We're getting into the title track of the album, which is Pink. Baby, stop trying to read me. Stop trying to dive down and reach me. Stop trying to pry out and find out what lies lie beneath me. What lies lie beneath me? Stop trying to reach me at, at the very bottom. <sighs> I remember when you told me I never grew up with a dad that was a man. That's why I'm so quick to idolize the men I see. Maybe I lack respect because I don't have respect for me. Like, how could you love me? What does that say about you? What do you see when you see me make my way around the room playing the camera? Oh, my God, bro. This is the one right here. This is the one. This, this shit right here. There's bars all through this thing right here. How can I have respect for you when I don't even respect me and you respect me? If I if I don't deserve respect and you're giving me respect, how can I respect you? The fuck? Back for that, so how are you questioning mine? You need to find a hobby the way you invest in your time. Break it down the way I am. Like how this motherfucker got all these fans that relate to him, but he don't express any time in real life. Took time to realize I got on a mic at Forest Best Impersonation of rappers I don't even like no more. My nights oh, are more interesting without you. I got on the mic impersonating rappers that I don't even like no more. You know who would have been fire on this track? West Side Boogie. My nights are more interesting without you in them and that's the outcome. I'm back and forth from love to lust and I feel better with mix. Was down about to break up like I ain't who ended this shit. Feel good to give myself credit. It feel good to look back and reflect the amount of sleep that I lost over the person that I used to share a bed with. Oh. Couldn't even feel good to still feel serious while not wearing dark colors when I show up. Could have been here as an image, but I'm there as me and I'm mm. so happy. Steak is rare as me. I could have been there as an image. That was the one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was the one. The problem is that should have been the last song on the album because now I'm going into Thank God and like thinking, how is this going to be a better last song than Pink was? That was a nine right there. For sure, that was a nine. Drums would have been cool, but I don't, I don't, I don't not like the fact that drums weren't there, if that makes sense. Like drums would have been cool, but they weren't necessarily needed. Because if drums came in, then we'd be thinking about the beat and we'd be thinking about all kinds of other shit other than what he's saying. What he's saying needed to be the only thing that mattered in that track. So we got like that very euphoric, very like distorted. It sounded like kind of underwater chords. That was nice. All right. Next up, last track on the album, ladies and gentlemen. Last track. And then we can give our final thoughts. That was a big W, though, that track. <laughs> I got one life to up. live. I said, baby, let's get high. I don't really remember too much, but I remember was. Finny rolled a wood up, put my foot up and reclined with my baby that I almost broke up without a pride. My sister finally clean, thank God. Mama beat cancer, thank God. But he got the crib, no, I'm the least healthy one. Don't gas me, I'm the one. Host had me on the run, throw raspy off a of blunt. And I love my dad a lot, but he ain't teach me nothing yet. Teacher touched him as a kid, he don't even have sex. Life is funny though, I don't even talk to dude But he got a younger sister that my girlfriend used to fuck with too Think life is all about balance, ping, 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 thank God Life's all about balance Ooh. You're balancing in the middle between white and red and pink Alright ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of Pink is Better by Token My first project since 
I've listened to him since I discovered him. Overall, it's probably still sitting at like a seven and a half for me. Um, there's a lot of solid tracks. The features all did really well. It's a long album though. So it's, it's a long, it's a long album. 7.75 six but the beats were eight album 6.75 kyler we got 6.75 7.757 7. so we're all i mean it's all going to even out right at like a low seven like 7.2 7 from what i can tell i do like the pink concept really the only thing and again this is just personal preference about tokens lyrics that kind of like i'm, I'm not really a huge fan of is this over sexual nature of some of the tracks um or at least some of the lyrics and some of the songs other people might not have not might not have a problem with it at all but that's just what i feel about rap that's like that i'm gonna say w i, I don't mind that the track ended on thank or the album ended on thank god because it's like it, it leaves the album in like a like a high note you know like a lot of the song was like really aggressive or they were like really introspective and actually kind of sad but this one is like we're still introspective but we're on the high note for the whatever's to come in the future we're not dwelling on the past or our mistakes or anything like that. We're thanking God for the fact that what we have um, is enough. Pink is a really good closing track, too, um, for, at least for the concept of the album. Like if the album ended with Pink, it would have been a better closing track for the overall concept. But thank God is a better overall track to end it on if you're trying to like be on the upswing. But yeah, overall, solid album It's a good taste into logic. I mean, not logic It's a good taste into who he's trying to be as an artist on the next project and the next project. It's a good platform for him to be able to evolve in whatever direction he wants to go.